welcome. My name is Desius Valmorvida. I lead the travel unit for Amadeus. Very happy to have a conversation here today uh, with David Harvey. He is the vice president for Southwest Business. Quite an important customer for Amadeus. Quite exciting project about launching and developing Southwest Business. So David, welcome and uh, thanks for taking the time. We're going through these very challenging times and uh, we're launching our know, first year anniversary of Southwest Business. But you guys have kept focus, you're on track, you're delivering on the milestones. Can you tell us a little bit what is the experience and how uh, things are working? Absolutely, and Desius, it's great to be with you. Uh, so thankful for the opportunity to, to connect here and what it truly was such a tremendous milestone. Something I think both the Amadeus and Southwest team have been dreaming about here for five or six years once we engaged in the relationship on the reservation side of the house. Uh, but yes, uh, for, from Southwest business perspective, we just turned one. So in August of 2019, we had a big, bold announcement actually with Amadeus arm in arm, uh, where it, it's a new business unit focused on making it easier to do business with Southwest. One of the things our customers kept telling us was we need to get our content through Amadeus. Uh, so that was, a, that was a top priority and the teams really kind of rallied, worked together and we were able to accomplish that earlier this month. Uh, so it's a very exciting time for Southwest and Southwest business. No, that's great. And as you said, no, uh, this is good news for business traveler. It's uh, more choice and the quality of uh, Southwest coming into the market. So maybe could you share with us a little bit, what is the feedback from customers? So how are they feeling about this new offer? Yeah, so even before we went live, we were starting to hear more from direct buyers and TMCs that they were starting to, to migrate over to Amadeus. So we, we were trying to be good listeners. That was a priority and we're gonna deliver. And even since we've gone live and it's just been a couple weeks, so a, a small, sample set, we are absolutely absolutely already seeing an uplift in Southwest business for existing accounts. And then we're already starting to see as well incremental new business for all the subscribers that are plugged into the uh, the Amadeus network. So we're, we're uh, it's early days. We know that numbers are reduced kind of in this COVID world, uh, but out of the gate, we are very pleased. No, and we are very pleased as well to have your content there. We are seeing the numbers rising in our system and uh, uh, and it is a great beacon for us when we talk to travel agencies to say that finally we have a Southwest content that's really a good uh, publicity, let's say for us, in order to get customers to migrate to our platform. So we're, we're very happy with that. So maybe making a little segue in that it is, I mean, we are talking about distributing through travel agencies. So when we talk about uh, business travel, how do you see the role of the trade? So how important do you see uh, their role? Uh, why now global distribution? So how does that fit uh, into the plans? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, if you put yourself in the shoes just for a moment of the travel manager at the company or the TMC, uh, things like being able to easily manage your funds, things like duty of care, uh, there, there's just uh, some of the responsibility they's, they've always had that have been kind of uh, underneath the covers, if you will, have just taken so much more importance. There actually was a recent GBTA survey, uh, their, their monthly survey, and senior leaders at companies as well as other stakeholders that actually use the travel program are saying that the this function that we're talking about here is as important, if not more important, than it's ever been. So that, that's a big piece of us staying really close to the TMCs, uh, making sure we understand their needs. We're delivering them both the technical platforms and the solutions in this rapidly changing time. Uh, so we're, um, we, we, we basically are, Southwest is establishing partnerships with the top 50 TMCs uh, and, and starting there, but, but look to even extend, uh, extend beyond that to a broader set of agencies as we look out into the future. No, great. That's, uh, that's very good news. And I mean, we have been long stand partners on the airline uh, solution space. Now uh, we are very honored to have you as well uh, on our travel platform, the distribution uh, platform of Amadeus. And obviously the question is, does the fact that participating on both systems, does that bring any synergies? Is that positive for Southwest? Will that be positive 
for our travel agency partners. Uh, how do you see uh, the, uh, the the use of both uh, platforms uh, as as part of your offer? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a great relationship. It's been a strategic relationship. You know, when Southwest selected Amadeus Altea uh, five years ago, you know, that, that's a big, bold move. Uh, you know, that's the the reservation system is the central nervous system of an of an airline. So you got to get that right. Uh, but that was a very successful implementation. We started with international, then we switched over all of our domestic business. And then if you just think about how closely integrated the Southwest and uh, Amadeus teams have been the last few years, you just it, it's about relate like any other relationship. There's an intimacy level to it. There's an understanding. So as Southwest thinks about new products and services, when we think about how quickly we can go to market, we've actually seen that happen very rapidly. Once we turned our tech resources toward the, uh, the Amadeus GDS launch, they were able to kind of power through that, uh, work very swiftly, get all the testing done and go to market. And that's just going to benefit us going forward, that strategic relationship. Yes. For us, that has been a, a great milestone as well. I mean, we learned a lot with Southwest, the passion, the culture, the level of professionalism. So it is like, I'm very happy that you talk about success, but the success comes uh, with uh, these this great partners that we have uh, on you guys. So moving maybe a little bit from the past and now looking into the future. So as you look uh, ahead, you look on the next 12 months, I mean, a lot of speculation on how the recovery curve is going to be, what business travel will look like, will it recover last, will it recover first? So what is your take on how the offer will evolve, uh, how the market will evolve. What can we expect from Southwest business in the in the next year? Man, that's that's a that's a big question, but I'll I'll try to try to unpack it. Uh, you know, if, if you think, you know, let me let me reflect here just for a moment, then I'll I'll talk about going going forward. You know, if you if you kind of rewind the clock, I know it feels like eons ago, but you know, kind of late February, we started seeing some of that softness. Things kind of held on that first week of March, and then you know March 9th is kind of a day, uh, at least at Southwest, which will live a, a little bit in infamy. Uh, it was when revenues went negative. We didn't even know that was a possibility, uh, and it happened, and it literally uh, extended on through the end of April. It wasn't until early May where that finally flipped again, and we, we were getting some net positive bookings and, and, and revenue. You know, and then there was there was a little bit of bullishness where things started accelerating back half of May, June, and then July 4th here in the States hit. Uh, COVID numbers went up and you, you immediately started seeing a lot more cancellations and, and the, the demand environment soften. Now, I will say uh, specifically for the business segment, leisure beaches and mountains here in the U.S. are definitely leading the recovery. If folks can get confident with our Southwest Promise, our Southwest Promise is a multi-layered approach to the cleanliness and distancing of the entire customer journey, keeping middle seats open. Uh, we've put so many new protocols in place to keep both our employees and our, our passengers safe. You know, there are some companies out there that are doing well with COVID. Uh, so we're, we're seeing, you know, government travel, transportation and logistics, medical health care, uh, grocery uh, type businesses. So those companies are starting to think about their travel policy for 2021. They're thinking about how much budget they're going to have available. And, and we're having some re real meaningful talks. I think at the end of the day, uh, you really need places on the other end of the line open. So if it's leisure, you need Disney World open. You need beaches open. You need mountains open. Uh, for the business sector, you need headquarters, offices to open back up. You need some of these conferences, conventions, meeting type activity. I do think it's gonna be event based and then you're gonna see a lot of these businesses say to all of their road warriors, all their travelers, you are now safe to get back on the road. We encourage you to start generating that next level of demand or sales. Uh, so we really see a nice uptick the back half of next year. None of us were around for the 1918 Spanish flu. Um, but what happened right after that in the U.S. was the roaring 20s. We, we fully expect the roaring 20s to, uh, to hit again here over the next 18 to, to 24 months. So Southwest Airlines and Southwest Business, we're going to be ready 
ready for that when the businesses are ready to return to the skies. Oh, great, David. So as everyone has heard and listened, a good message of optimism. Let's expect that uh, 2021 brings us uh, back into the growth pattern and that we can leave uh, all of these uh, pandemic effects uh, behind. David, I thank you very much for your time. It was great to share uh, this conversation and have your insights. Thanks very much. And uh, we'll continue talking. And as you said, both Southwest and Amadeus, we're gonna be here to help all of you and to restart travel and get uh, business travel on track. Okay, thanks Absolutely. a lot. Thank you, Desius, really appreciate you. Thank you.